The evolution of what is now known as 10-point crossbows dates back to the early 1960s and the upbringing of Rick Bednar in Suffield, Ohio. In the early years, when I was only five years old, I participated in an uh, archery program that my parents uh, were running out of their local archery pro shop, Portage Archery Center. And by the time I was nine years old, I was competing on a national level in what was the cadet and junior division of the Junior Olympics. It was here that Rick's parents, Archery Hall of Famer Bill Bednar and his wife, Edith, founded Portage Archery Center, where Rick and his two sisters, Cindy and Joanna, would grow up in an apartment building connected to the pro shop. Immersed in the family business at a young age, Rick would also develop his love for archery during these years, as his dad, Bill, coached him as an elite tournament archer competing at the highest collegiate, national, and international levels, eventually becoming a three-time NCAA national champion and qualifying for the 1976 Olympics. Eventually trying out for the Olympics in 1976 and actually making the team, only to find out that uh, the teams have all, had all been reduced in size because of the housing shortage that we had in Montreal that year, and I wasn't able to go, I was labeled an alternate. It was the only time in history that Archery's had only two team members rather than three. Prior to and subsequently to that, there's always been three members of the team, so kind of bad luck for me. These years in retail and archery competition sparked Rick's interest and appreciation for bow design, performance, and engineering. Because I've shot competitively and accuracy and quality of the build, quality of the part design is so important or was so important to me in that those competitive years, I place that as a very top priority in each design and I'm always pushing for how to make the design better, faster, lighter, more accurate and those features make 10 point better than every other company out there because of the background that I've had, I believe, in the competitive shooting environment. The lessons Rick learned would serve as the guiding principles of his career path, from purchasing the family business in 1981 to launching Horton Crossbows in 1985 to ultimately founding 10-point Crossbow Technologies in 1994 and building the world's highest quality, most accurate, and safest crossbows and then eventually started 10-point in 1994 with my parents and a group of outside investors uh, along with family members, other family members. My two sisters uh, were part of that original uh, investor group and we've been in business since 1994. While many crossbow companies have come and gone since 10-point crossbows was founded in 1994, 10-point has sold over a half a billion dollars of crossbows and accessories. And while many others have gone overseas, 10-Point has excelled in continuing to drive crossbow innovation and engineering thanks in large part to its two guiding principles, family-owned and made in the USA. Uh, I have a unique situation here uh, as a dad because as third generation, my two sons now really run both sides of the company. One would be the sales and marketing, one would be the operations side. And they're truly my best friends. So my dad and I's relationship is very close. Uh, he teaches me new things every day about business and uh, as I gain my experience and my work career, his vision of 10 Point has always revolved around engineering and quality and I feel like that's what I take into every single day of my work and I feel that the bows that we produce at 10 Point have the highest level of quality that we're capable of producing and we spend the most amount of time testing and making sure that the bows are as safe and as, as good as they can be. My dad's probably taught me almost everything that I know. Uh, he's one of my best friends. He's definitely my mentor. Um, you know, he's he's uh, likes to drive the bus steady between the white lines. Great leader of people. Um, he treats people well. Just taught us how to do business the right way and in an honest fashion and work hard. So every day we come to work. We see each other, we meet, we talk, we talk personal, we talk business, we go to lunch every day, five days a week. And if a dad has never experienced having his sons as his best friend, it's hard to relate to really what I'm saying, but um, that's really the passion that we have coming to work every day. Spend a day at 10 Point, and you're likely to run into a member of the Bednar family at just about every turn. Whether it's Rick's oldest son, Phil, Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing, 
his youngest son, Steve, Executive Vice President of Operations, his sister, Joanna Rollins, Chief Financial Officer, or his nephew, Mike Schaefer, Director of Engineering, the Bednar family permeates throughout Ten Point. Ask the employees on the shop floor, though, and they will tell you that family at Ten Point is more than just blood. It's a way of life when you become part of the Ten Point team, and it's evident every day at Ten Point and in the pride their workers take in their craftsmanship. I like it when Rick and Phil and all them come on the floor. I mean, it makes a big, big impression. That, and they also give you feedback about how things are going, what the company's doing, you know, the feedback and keeping you up to speed on how everything sales and how everything's rolling. And so it, keep, it keeps the employees more at a, at a level where they're a little bit more appreciated for their work, for say, because they're, they're learning more of the company and how the bigger ends of it all comes together. You know, on how many boats we've got now, and how many, you know, how good we're doing, and you know, instead of just standing back here working and not getting much of the feedback in the industry and how everything's jiving and and going around, by far, I think is a good thing they do come out on the floor. What it does is it makes me feel very important to them uh, that I'm not just a body, I'm not just a, a person that comes in and, and does a basic task. Uh, I it makes me feel that my role is very important to the overall picture of what we're trying to accomplish. Well, knowing that the Bend are, are so family oriented, um, we think it's a pleasure to see them on the floor. Um, they come, they know most of us by first name. Um, they're always willing to help or answer any questions we have. I think it's a great thing. Yeah, I think uh, a family environment, family atmosphere is very important uh, to the leadership at Ten Point. Uh, you know, this is a family business and we want everybody who works here to be, feel like they're part of the family. Uh, we want to know everybody here, we want to know them by name, you know, and we want to provide an environment that people enjoy coming to work in. You know, it's our goal to provide a place where people feel, you know, wanted and, and they're part of the plan and uh, their suggestions and their input is valuable into the uh, actual output that comes out of the business in a, you know, in a daily, monthly or yearly fashion. Ten Point designs, builds, and tests their crossbows right here in the USA. Doing so enables them to control the process and to use the best parts and materials available, thereby guaranteeing a final product of uncompromising quality. Materials from Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, Texas, Colorado, Arizona, and Georgia are brought right here to the 51,000 square foot campus in Suffield, Ohio. Keeping manufacturing in the U.S. has allowed Ten Point to employ over 100 employees and help keep jobs for more than 5,000 employees from their vendors located throughout the country. Regardless of the Ten Point or Wicked Ridge crossbow you shoot, you can trust that every crossbow that leaves this factory in Suffield, Ohio has been handled, assembled, and tested by American workers every step of the way. Ten Point's undying commitment to product innovation and improvement since 1994 has resulted in close to 100 patents, many of which were key breakthroughs in technology that have shaped the landscape of today's high-performance crossbows. Perhaps even more impressive is the company's multi-million dollar state-of-the-art 9,000 square foot engineering campus. It is inside these walls that Rick's nephew, Mike Schaefer, along with Rick himself, lead a 10-man engineering team whose sole focus is designing the crossbows of the future. We've grown from just a small office or part of an office in the corporate building to our own building. So in 2015, 2016, we renovated the old archery shop and converted it to an engineering facility. And we have a bridge port and, and workbenches for basically every engineer. Uh, we have a shooting lane. Uh, we have high-speed uh, video. We have an, our own inspection equipment where we can you know, check our own prototypes. And, and through all of that, our, our 3D printing has grown as well. So we started out with no 3D printing. Uh, now we have a, a brand new 3D printer that's able to print carbon-filled nylon. Uh, so we have you know, basically able, we're able to print engineered materials, we're able to machine our own uh, product or our own prototypes uh, and be very, very self-sufficient. Well, I think we truly are an engineering company. So some of the firsts that we have brought to market that uh, I place at the top of our accomplishments list would be the uh, 
wings or the, the, the shields that are on the foregrip of a crossbow to keep accident and injuries from happening. The ability to not dry fire your crossbow. We have a device that we brought to market called an anti-dry fire uh, device. We've also brought cocking mechanisms to the marketplace, which uh, I believe we have five or six different versions of those cocking mechanisms now. So it uh, appeals to a wide range of customers that have a wide range of uh, ability or lack of ability, and they can still use their crossbow to either recreate or hunt with. And I would say of all the things that we brought to market, the proudest thing that I would have said would be the AccuDraw, the original cocking mechanism that my dad and I invented and brought to market, I believe back in around 1996. From 3D printing and CNC machining capabilities to robotic shot simulators and optical measuring machines, the engineering team is denied no expense when it comes to designing, prototyping, and testing crossbow models years before they ever make it to market. Ten Point's investment in engineering is second to none in the crossbow industry, making it no surprise that their engineering team is constantly designing the future of crossbows today. For over a quarter of a century, three generations of the Bednar family have kept the company at the forefront of crossbow innovation, quality, performance, and safety for hunters across the country. And while times and technology have certainly changed, a special bond between father and son still remains at the heart of Tenpoint, much like it was in the early 1990s. As crossbow technology, performance, and consumer demand continues to evolve and grow, Tenpoint has been at the forefront of integrating technology into their production process, a critical component to ensure a high-quality finished product that is delivered on time to the hands of consumers. Whether it's by implementing a robotic limb deflector, integrating visual inspection into the process, or having the capability to track parts back to the original lot and manufacturer, the company remains laser-focused on creating an error-proof production line with the flexibility and capacity to meet the extreme consumer demand of 10-point products across the world. So integrating technology into manufacturing is something that uh, I'm very passionate about. It's become a lot more available for smaller companies um, over the last few years as the cost of things have come down. We, we spend a lot of time thinking, learning, being educated on new technologies that may make us better. Things like the single piece flow production line, um, the production lock tracking software, taking pictures of our crossbows at the end of the production line, all those things have either made the job easier on the operator or have just made us a better company because we have data that we can look back on when somebody has a particular issue with a bow or if we want to figure out what's going on. The growth of the crossbow market over the last few years has been pretty explosive and we've been able to take advantage of that through our technology that we've put into our production process. Some of the changes that we've made have allowed us to become faster, make crossbows faster, but not necessarily uh, make it any more difficult on the operator. And uh, those are the things that we focus on with our technology is how can we make it easier or better for the operator and increase the throughput of the crossbows. And while consumers may never see what truly goes on behind the scenes of building these world-class crossbows, they can be assured that when it reaches their hands, it will exceed their expectations. At the end of the production line is a test firing range, where each crossbow is test fired for accuracy and shot through a chronograph to verify performance before a 10-point employee will sign off on the crossbow to be boxed up and sent out for delivery. While most crossbow companies in recent years shifted to overseas production of crossbows to increase their bottom line, the Bednar strategy has not changed over 25 plus years focus on the hunter and continue to engineer better products that improve their chances of success in the field. In most cases, the best ideas for product innovation and development come directly from customer reviews, recommendations, and feedback. And with many skilled employees who share the passion of hunting, the ability to turn these suggestions into a high-performance product truly separates 10-point from the pack. What sets us apart in the industry, in my view, in addition to many of the things that I've already said, is we're vested in the sport. We're very much uh, participants. We have employees that are avid hunters and avid outdoor recreational uh, enthusiasts. So we take a lot of input. We put it in the blender. We mix it all up. And we design and create ideas and products that stem from 
participation and the 25 or 27 years that we've vested in the industry in the space. So vesting is the most important thing that I think sets us apart as employees and as a company. It's all we do. You know, we're not here to make products of other categories. We make crossbows, the best crossbows in the market. We make arrows for our crossbows. Um, you know, we make accessories that help uh, a crossbow user become a better, more proficient hunter. But it's really our commitment to crossbows. It's all we think about. It's all we do. It's really what we strive every day is to make a better crossbow uh, than we made last year. By finding new ways year in and year out to push the boundaries of crossbow technology, Ten Point continues to shape the future of a crossbow market that doesn't show any signs of slowing down. With close to a million crossbows leaving Suffield, Ohio since Ten Point opened its doors, no other crossbow company has been more influential in the promotion of crossbow hunting and the success of hunters across the globe. We're going to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to engineer. Those are the things that are at our core. We're going to make the best crossbows in the world. And I think that's truly the future of Ten Point is if you come back and do a tour, you know, three years from now or five years from now, it'll probably look completely different. We'll have new technology, new things that we've come across that make us a better company and allow us to provide a better product. Ten Point, defining crossbow precision for over 25 years.